few people requested it, sent out a tweet, you guys wanted it. Here it is, a one-off video of the worst Need for Speed ever created. And I don't care that Nitro exists, or Shift or Shift 2 with his dodgy handling, this is worse. And I'll tell you why. Uh, let's just ignore that I've got the max speed points. And I've done all the events, not that there are many, 20, 61 events. Ignore the fact that I've driven that many and done that, that played that much time. Ignore all that. Because the game's not... <laughs> I have full experience and know that the game is not good. But this, this is a good setting. We're in the dark. Absolutely nothing going on. Let's, let's... Auto log alert. Let's just realize a second that uh, you may see something wrong with this car. It's white. Why is it white? Because Criterion wanted it to be. Right. Let's go. Oh, look, I came round the corner. How about a Bugatti Veyron that I don't pay for? Wow, look at me. Progression. <laughs> I swapped sides with it. I want that back. Can we swap back? Let's start off with one of the events that I actually quite like on this game. This is one of the events that I played on multiplayer all the time. Oh, there's a cop. Oh, for God's sake, never mind. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the cops. How about we just drive down the road? Oh, they've gone. Wow. That was quick. You may or may not know how this game works. So essentially, per car, there's probably like five or six events. And uh, these are all the events you can do in this car. You can't do any other events. But we're going to give one a go. So let's go with a sprint race, shall we? Start race. Don't even need to drive to the event. Don't need... Thanks, mate. It was that. But let's get on with the event with the weird cut scenes. No, seriously. I call this game the worst Need for Speed. Physically, probably it's not the worst. I would say that was Nitro, honestly. I would say that's Nitro. But I would say this is the worst because it was the worst influence of the series we have seen. What's going on? I can't... I don't know because I can't see. We've got it on. We've got, we got a classic Need for Speed race. Yeah. Let's blitz through it. So, wh why do you why did you dislike this game, Theo? Let's 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 have a little chat. Why did you dislike this game? I mean, for the most part, the main reason I disliked it is called Most Wanted. This is not Most Wanted. This really is not the Most Wanted in any any stretch of the imagination. Like, okay, let's 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 begin this, shall we? These physics and I I don't like them. It's going to be difficult to portray years of hate towards this game in one video. Oh, you know, I don't... Okay, okay. Let's 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 try, let's try. This is, all we can do is try. This, my friends, is not a Need for Speed game. It very clearly is not a Need for Speed game. This is a Burnout game. And that's the reason I disliked it the most. It was the first time they thought, you know what? Burnout, Burnout's good. We'll just... We'll just shove burnout stuff in, in the game and release it. It was supposed to be a million. Oh, oh yeah, took him down. And now we're doing a jump. Sorry, need for speed. I thought I was playing need for speed, not burnout. This game had no progression. No reason to play whatsoever. Right at the beginning of the event, you could jump in, okay, and choose any car you like. L no limitations. Now, some people may see that as a good thing. Okay. Fully understood. Maybe you do see that as a good thing. But do I, as a person that... But do I, a person that saw this as most wanted, and I thought, oh, it's going to go back to progression. It's going to go back to street racing. Not oh, look, a Koenigsegg just sat on the side of the road. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a policeman over there. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's going to disappear anyway. Now, let's do some customization, shall we? So you can see this car hopefully would have a lot of mods. It's, it's a nice M3. Let's go into customization. We can do tires, nitrous, chassis, body, transmission, and livery. So how about we try with the body? What's the body going to do? Impact protection. Aero Pro. Okay, okay. How about some NOS? How about some NOS? So we got normal nitrous, which is burn pro. Okay. Power shot, which does it in a burst. Okay, it's all right. Jump nitrous. Powerful acceleration when used in the air. In the air. When the wheels aren't touching. The, the air. How about the chassis? <clears throat> Lightweight pro. Reinforced. Ram. Exactly what you want in a racing game, you know. How about these liveries? Because that's the only... Oh, yeah, okay. Let's just let's just change the wrap of the M3. That's... Get out of this fucking car. And now you can also jump to these cars that are plotted around the map if you want to. Here's one of my favorites, the SLS. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's not the fav favorite color of mine because it changes every time you get back in it. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, wait. I forgot. You can't change the color on single player. The color. But that's okay. We're going to give this a little drive anyway. Now, some people will argue that the physics on this game are better than Need for Speed 2015. Okay, I can see that they're more stable, but does that mean they're better? No. When they work on 2015, I'm not able to just do this. Look. No s- Oh! <laughs> Fun! <laughs> you should call this player has mental breakdown while playing worse Need for Speed game. That's what we should call this video. My god, look at the size of this road. It's a British road, this. It's not American. Well, hello, copper. Oh, no. I have the police after me. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> we thought that the people complained about the 2015 cops. What is that? I mean, the boost NOS was quite. That was probably. The, that was the redeeming. I like the boost NOS. That was my favorite. Now, to be fair, I am a little bit rusty at this game, so I'm not gonna be doing my best at driving because I haven't played it in a while. For good reason. Uh, now, let's very quickly. Oh, look at that Aston Martin. Oh, let's just jump in on it and the fly. Let's go to one of the worst cars in the game, which uh, ruined the game totally. I say ruined, but it was already broken. So, you <laughs> can't really, you know. <laughs> ah, yes, the Hennessy. Brilliant car, isn't it? Uh, so, what's wrong? Why is this? Why did this car ruin the game? Well, it was obnoxiously fast. Why is that an issue? I don't want to do anything. Go away. Obnoxiously fast. It was so quick to get up to speed, which, as it should be, is the Hennessy Venom. But keep in mind, this game is so easy to drive in. Look at that. Still keeping speed. Still keeping speed while doing a drift. That was one other thing. Actually not slowing down when I want to slow down. That, okay. When... Let me tell you the physics of drifting. You're not going straight. The best performance of a car is when you go straight. That's when the aerodynamics are designed for everything. When you then go sideways, you shouldn't really be going 190 miles an hour. It's not really how it works. So this car was the fastest in the game. And that's a problem when you remember that, uh... It's a DLC car. <laughs> right you have to pay to get a dlc pack to own this car i think that's a bit disgusting just like okay let's think about that for a second the best the fastest car in the game is locked behind a paywall okay the only time you will be able to beat this car is if the driver is crap and the game's easy so the driver genuinely isn't crap you know these crash cameras really just like oh <laughs> oh look now we can finally go again I... Oh. Now, a redeeming feature of this game was the DLC. The DLC support was pretty darn good. Uh, except when you know the fact that now that we do know, uh, the airport was in the game, but it was removed for then to be sold as DLC after. Alexa just spoke and it scared the living daylight, day daylights out of me. Daylights out of me. Now, another issue with this game is that most of the cars you will see are very high-end cars. They started the game they the first car they gave you to keep was a Porsche but then remember that when you go when you go anywhere you get access to any car you like find a car get in it I don't want to progress welcome to free drive online we're now online so this is where I spend most of the time playing this game which is why I've racked up so many so much time in this game and you have to remember, on the PlayStation, we didn't have many games like that. We didn't have Horizon, so we were stuck on this crap. So, uh, essentially, what we're going to be doing is the multiplayer. Speedless. This is the original Speedless, and I've got to say, these were so much fun to play. It's, if, if not, this is the only feature I would recommend trying this game for. Physics, abysmal. You will get pissed off time after time after time. It is awful. Awful, awful. Like, look, I can just... I'm just... No skill at all. No, 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 no need to... Look, I've been not played the game since it came out in 2012 and I can just magically do this. And look, so can he and he's fucking Veyron. It's hard not to get angry at this game, but this was my favorite car. The Silver SLS. It was a stunning beauty. Do you think this guy knows who I am or something? Or no, do you think he's just a massive knob? I don't know. Either one or the other. He just crashed out. <laughs> this game was hated by the majority of the Need for Speed community because it was just... Honestly, no, in the wrong direction. They were going okay. 
uh, honestly, with the run, I thought the run was pretty good. I mean, of course, then we had Rivals, which wasn't much better, but honestly, the cops were so much better in Rivals. Although too intense, they were actually useful, and the races were in, actually felt good, and the handling was a little bit better. There was some customization, so it was a step in the direction, and they had, like, five months to make that game, and then we got Leaves to 2015, which was another step in the direction, which I'm hoping the next game is going to be a leap. So I'm We've come so far from this game that it's almost funny to come back to this empty, dead world. It feels like there's more traffic, and that's like... That's about... He just crashed out. No, he didn't. He, he killed someone else. All right, let's do some of these. So... Oh, luckily, all of these are actually races. Unfortunately, they're... Um, rally... Oh, I can't even use my SLS. Can I? For God's sake! Bring back that NOS, but don't make it go that quick. That was too fast. Also, upgrades. We didn't have upgrades. I, just, I, I could spend all day moaning about this, but I'm just going to get on with the race and show you. Oh, look, a jump. <laughs> oh, so realistic. Oh. oh, yeah. Wow. Now, one thing I loved about the speed list in this game is you had to drive to the next one. That's one thing I actually really enjoyed, but this thing is, again... This is supposed to be like everyday cars. Yeah, let me just pull out my Focus RS, shall I? No. The, the nosses and drifts like it's some kind of god. No. Speed test. Callahan convict. Oh my god, it's a jump. I thought it was a... Where is it? It's behind me. Now, this is what I disliked about it. Like, I like. I would love to see more challenges, like free burn kind of style challenges like this. But these are honestly some of the most stupid challenges. Like, oh, look at a perfectly placed jump. That's going to make me jump like three blocks. Wow. Oh, those two are out. I was going to say, are they completed? How? I've got the second longest jump. How did that guy beat? Oh, I know. He got a run up, didn't he? Oh, I don't understand. How come I got the highest score? Did the guy leave? Oh, I finished second. Why did it lie to me? God's sake. Wow, look at... No, to be fair, the speed list menus and stuff, are, they're, they're much better on this and the fact they have like... Oh, yeah, I get more more points as well because I got a pre-order. <laughs> I didn't actually pre-order. I got the game early. I was... Little fact for you. If you look it up, I was the first legitimate player to get the platinum trophy on this game. As, as much as I hate that fact that, that this game exists, I got the platinum first. <laughs> Um, anyone in the world. I got it early, to be fair, through Machinima. Sorry, sorry, you gave it to the wrong dude. <laughs> One thing that is great about this game, though, the sounds. Because it's Need for Speed. Need for Speed sounds are always fantastic. You can't beat them. Oh, tw uh, team races are coming up. So, team races I miss. Although they were most, the most BS things ever. You could come, like, first and second as the team, the, f the one team. And for some reason, right, I'm at the top of the speed list, look, because uh, I've I've got the cheats in where it gives me more points. <laughs> but if you both come first, and uh, it would still somehow say that you lost. There's like it, there was no structure to these team races whatsoever. Oh yeah, I forgot you could go before the start of the race. Oops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you could go. So this is where it gets a bit silly. Like it's too over the top. That's one of my main complaints. Like look at these jumps and stuff I'm doing. Like, this is stupid. Like, I complain about fours are having... What? I complain about fours are having stuff like that. So I've got to... Oh, the handling is perfect. Yeah. Because, you know, that's how it works. All-wheel drive car. Definitely. How about some more jumps? Because that wasn't enough jumps to satisfy your jumping needs, was it? Yeah, let's do some more. Let's just jump all the time. A jumping game, not a racing game. This is fun. <laughs> Crash cam. <laughs> Exciting. I know the crash cams are still in the, the current Need for Speed, but they're so much harder to trigger. Like, seeing the subtle details of this game and then comparing it to the new game, they've done so much better. They've fixed so many things. The handling model, in my view, is better because it's not as easy. It does need a hell of a lot of work in 2015. Don't get me wrong. But why have I got... Oh, yeah, I've got unlimited NOS because I'm last place, and that's something you couldn't disable, too. Oh. <sighs> I'm frustrated at the fact they're giving me assistance here. Because it annoys me. Alright. This is why people with the Hennessy Venom always won. Because I had insane acceleration. Couple it with NOS Unlimited. If you Even if you're in the last place, you'll catch back up to it. I'm losing here. I haven't played it for, in, since it came out. So leave me alone. Hey, I've had another jump. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. 
<sighs> now, is this game a bad game? No. Is it a bad need for speed? Yes. If this game was trying, it was a burnout. If this was labeled burnout with real cars, like burnout actual cars or something like that, if it was physically a burnout game, I wouldn't be too fussed. But the fact it's so, it's so hand holding and stuff. It holds your hand for so many things, and that's not what I want for a game. I don't want everything unlocked from the start. I don't want it. It had everything unlocked from the start, but I think it also actually had. Yeah, because the physics in this game are great as well, aren't they, bloody 2012 bloody people? I think this game still actually had a time saver pack. Remember those? Time saver packs. If you were too lazy to actually play the game, even though everything's pretty much unlocked from the start and there's no progression other than 10 races to get to the end, they had a time saver pack. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> well, looking back at this has been good because we get to see, obviously how far we've come. How far we've come in the fact that ghosts are listening to so many requests of so many different people. Look at that. I finished fifth place, but overall, overall on the speed list. Oh yeah, take down opponents for extra money. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, just kill everybody. Encourage them to like go head on into you and stuff. Fantastic. Our team won. But look at me, I'm at the top of the leaderboard, <laughs> even though I was like last, and I got the most crashes because I did a pre-order. Love it. If you knew where the startups for the next event began, because they, they obviously they weren't random events, they were set in order. If you knew, you can make your way there and pretty much sit at the start and get points for sitting at the start, right at the beginning of the event. <laughs> Which I mean, I mean, it's, t it's fair, it's fair. I do wish they were a bit more random, that would be good. Uh, for like the, for the next speed, if they did like speed list like this, I would love there to be speed like this because they they give you a little bit of freedom and they give you a kind of a challenge constantly to race to them. I'd like this. M maybe make it like free burn challenges rather than races, but the speed list races, those I've got the ram chassis. That means I can kill people, <laughs> and then everybody would just take each other out like that, like tapping them like that, just to push them out of the meetup area. Oh my god, yeah, I remember. And everybody knows this is going to be a, some kind of race because everybody's facing this way, so I'm going to do what they're doing. To be fair, I just unlocked this. As said, online, you honestly unlocked cars in a better way than you did. I'm in the, I'm in the meetup. You unlocked cars in a better way than you did on uh, offline because you just drove to them. On this, you actually had to do races to unlock them. And the parts for them, you had to do races in them to unlock them. And it's, it's such a mixed bag. And you can tell that it was like... It was one of those games where they had so many ideas, but they really had no time to make it. Again, overall still, the actual gameplay would have been the same, and I still would not be, have been a fan. All right, well, I'm done with this game. Um, hopefully, that's the last most wanted video I'll ever have to make. This has been an educational video by Dr. Pants saying, Most Wanted 2012 is AIDS, and I will stand by my point. Bye something by anything else in the series be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.